How you doing, fam man? This is Chris Mizo here, and I want to show you how you can control your fans on your BIOS. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is really listen closely and follow everything that I do have to say. You don't really need any software to control your fans on your PC. You don't have to install any extra software uh, necessarily. Some people prefer to use a UI such as that. BIOSes have gotten reached so far to where you can control your fans. We will be doing it on a Z690 ASUS motherboard. We will enter the BIOS and we will go into QFan control. There'll be several different settings that you can enter. And when you go into these settings, you can either optimize your fans, which means it will detect your fans, whichever fans you have hooked up to your motherboard. This will not work for any fans if you have it directly connected to your power supply. Meaning if you have any of your wires directly connected, such as you had a Molex wire connected to your power supply, or you had a Molex wire that converts to a, say a three pin or a four pin fan, it will not detect that fan because what will be running that fan will be a default setting. If it's a DC fan, it will just run at full speed. Same, even if it's a PWM fan. Either fan, it doesn't matter if it's hooked up directly to the power supply, you will not be able to control it unless you hook it up to one of your fan headers. If you hook up the fan pins to the motherboard, then from there on, it will be 100% controlled. Until then, it will not. It, the power supply will take complete control of that fan and there's really nothing you can do about that. But if you have most of your fans already hooked up to your motherboard, then you shouldn't really run into this problem at all. Now let's go straight into the BIOS. As you can see, the PC behind me, I'm on my desktop currently, but we're gonna reboot it and go into the BIOS. All right, so first things first, we gotta reboot this PC. We're in Windows 11. So all you have to do is hit the Windows X button. Once you hit Windows X, just go down to the shutdown side. Now we're just going to restart the PC. So for ASUS Z690 motherboards, make sure you hit F2 right away. Who doesn't love to do the repeated tap? Just to make sure they guarantee themselves to go into the BIOS. Because it sucks when you miss it. <laughs> okay, so I hit it enough times to now where I got the load previous values. Obviously, we don't want to do that. So we're going to cancel this. So if you notice up here on the top, you're going to either hit F6 or go to QFAN control. Now, once you hit F6 or QFAN control, you could go into QFAN tuning. What QFAN tuning will do, it will detect the minimum your fans can spin and will also test out the maximum your fans can spin if you want more accurate control of your fans. It's something that I would recommend to do, especially if you have your PC build. As you know, I have a Corsair H150i Elite cooler on my PC. So I have my fans hooked up to my Commander node for the power and the RGBs are also hooked up to there. Of course, if you haven't seen that guide, make sure you check out the card right above me if you haven't seen that build and you can see exactly how I did it. But anyway, to get to the point, Currently my CPU fan is not hooked up. So that's something that I would ignore. Typically you will not even be able to go into your PC, but make sure if you do not hook up your water pump to your CPU fan, make sure you disable that reading. It's null and void it because that's gonna be no use to us. So we're gonna skip right down to chassis one fan. Now we're in chassis one fan. Unless you had a notepad written down, you go to your motherboard and actually see which fan pins that you hooked up your fans to. If you notice the little font where your headers are, they will have notes such as chassis fan one, or I'll say CH fan one or CH fan four. That is something you can write down on a notepad on the side. So that way you can use it for future reference, especially if you're gonna control the fans through the BIOS. Now up here on the right hand side, you can see it says auto detect. Where that drop down box where auto detect is, it's gonna either have DC or PWM. So you can either use the auto detect for your PC to be able to detect it, which is really nice about modern BIOSes now that your PC is able to detect that, 
or if you already have a DC fan hooked up or a PWM fan hooked up, you can go st uh, directly to that just to make sure. But if you're not sure and you don't really want to mess with it, you can just leave it on auto detect. And if you want to figure out which fan it is, just simply go into full speed and you will know immediately which fan it is controlling. We're on chassis one fan, so let's see which fan it is on this very PC. So it looks like that's for the side fans of my PC. And let me show you. To make sure I have the fans accurately detected, I can go back to silent and see if the fans stop spinning. And as you notice, it slowed down. So we discovered what chassis one fan is. So you can repeat the procedure on your other chassis fans as well to see what your other fans are. So in order for future reference, I would recommend writing it down just in case if you don't like this profile. If you really don't like it, you just wanna kind of start over, you can go right back to the default settings. So right now it's currently on standup. If you notice here up on the side, you'll have zero, 50, and 100%. On the bottom side, that's how fast that you want your fans RPMs to run. You want it to run at 100% at its full maximum speed at its full potential, you run at 100%. Now the chart down below, as you can see, will be the degrees of what your PC is running. So if your PC is running at 30 degrees Celsius, you know your chassis fan one will be running about 40%. And if that is the setting that you want, you can leave it exactly how it is. If you don't, you can actually adjust it with the mouse. Say if you want to change that 30 degrees Celsius to say 50% because you just want to make sure your PC is nice and cool, you can do that. But in order to do that, you have to make sure you go into manual mode. You can set them just like that and you can see the difference from the original settings to the new settings. You could set it to a higher slope for better cooling. So the only other thing I recommend is that, say if you have CPU fan hooked up, you treat it at 100%. Same goes with the AIO pump. As you see, you wanna keep it at full speed no matter what, do not drop the temperature because that will make your PC get the beautiful blue screen of death that I bet you are looking forward. But if you're not, you wanna avoid that, just make sure that you run your AIO pump at 100% at all times. Same with your CPU fan, 100% at all times. Now with all other fans, with chassis one, two, three, and four, I usually recommend more push than pull because you want your PC to stay more cool. So you wanna have more push into your PC. You want that cooler air to enter. You want the PC to pull a little bit slower. So that way you get the nice positive air case pressure. Q fan control is really awesome and it is a great tool to use, especially if you don't like to use extra bloatware, you don't wanna download Asus Armory and try to mess with the fans on with the software, you can do it directly with the BIOS. It's much more easier, less complicated, and it will always work. So I hope you found this guide very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who has a SUS Z690 motherboard and needs help with their fan controls in their BIOS, make sure you share this very video with them. And also for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. And if you're not part of the big, wonderful fan bam, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And fan bam, guys, how do you like to control your fans through your BIOS? Is it something that you prefer or do you prefer using a desktop software? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.